Welcome back, and we are live on Joy Prime. This is Prime Morning. My name is MFA Kusiaditi. Now, moving away from Coco and moving away from the Japa royalties, let's talk about you. Have you been taking care of yourself? And also, a gentle reminder that this month is Pink October. If you're a woman or if you know a woman who definitely has got breasts, definitely, you should go and be examining your breasts and make sure that you're taking care of of yourself maybe later on the show i'll share with you some people who are consulting for free like dr irajwa you can check out on instagram dr irajwa who's consulting for free for you but right about now this is good living and we are talking about blood group dieting the type of food you should be eating what you should not be eating i bet you're going to be shocked as myself do you even know the blood group you belong to doing this i'll be talking to helena she's a nutritionist she's a lawyer she's a lecturer and she's also got a foundation we get to talk about it later hello it's good to see you when I see, I get a gentle a reminder that I've, have I been eating well? Ask have me. Have you? Yes. <laughs> good to know. I, I think I can see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating well, drinking water, loads of vegetables. That's good. And Eat. avoiding the junk? Yes, 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 yes. I haven't had junk in a long time. That's and don't good. check my Instagram That's page. <laughs> and I know you've been exercising, right? Yes. I know yes. you're a gym instructor. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. And so, um, so a lot of questions have come up that apparently we should be eating according to our, our blood group and uh, so i want to ask the question what is um blood type dieting if there's anything like that yeah 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 that's a good question so the blood type diet um is a, uh, a group of foods or specific kinds of food that people have um, based on their blood group um it it, it was introduced by um peter Dadamo and um, basically to enhance one's health, um, we call it cardio metabolic risk factors and chronic diseases. So cardio is your heart and metabolic is the way your body works. Um, so uh, it's supposed to improve that function and also to reduce your chances of having chronic diseases like high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, um, even weight gain, waist circumference, which is also a risk factor for diabetes or high blood sugar. So that was that, that was the basis for proposing um, that kind of diet. And for so people. Peter just slept and woke up one day <laughs> and decided to put something out there. Why would I want to believe it though? So actually, um, there is limited information, research information, um, proving that when you go by the blood type diet, is mm -hmm. really going to. Um, um, improve um, your health or okay. these factors, the cardiometabolic risk factors. Actually, if you subscribe to these diets, there are some favorable benefits, mm. but anybody at all can subscribe to these kind of diets and reap the benefits. Okay. So research has shown that it's, the benefits are not necessarily related to the blood group, mm -hmm. but then subscribing to these diets have At some beneficial have benefits. Effects, yes. ah, right. But a straightforward question, would it help me in my quest to lose weight? That's one of the reasons why um, this has been proposed by another person called Cristiano Joseph. So um, according to him, there are foods that based on your blood group, you should avoid to okay. help you lose weight. Okay, let's help some people. <laughs> How many types of blood groups do we have? And if you can help me list them. I know that yeah. for sure I'm O positive. Okay, so the positive, negative, we call them risk factors, but I think we can limit ourselves to the blood, o. the ABO blood okay. group. Uh -huh. So we have the O, mm -hmm. we have A, we have B, we have AB. Okay, okay, and then, so we start, which one is the common one? O. Um, o. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're O, whatever that it comes in, is there O negative actually? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you're O, what should you be eating? Okay, so according to the, those who have proposed this, um, for blood um, group O, they are the meat eaters. So they can feel free and have a lot of meat. And so they can have fish like salmon, they can have meat like beef, turkey. However, um, they, they, they need to cut down on carbohydrates like grains. They need to cut down on legumes like peanuts. They need to cut down on foods like cauliflower, cabbage, um, Peanut, some oranges. In Katia. In Katia. In Katia. Cauliflower, cabbage, um, um, oranges, um, some melons. That's for blood group O. We should take it out. That's what the, the, oh, the, the, take, the proposal should, is saying. We should take cabbage out. Cabbage, we take cauliflower. cauliflower out. Are you O? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You see? Are you happy? 
Well, <laughs> it's quite tough eating cauliflower, though. It oh, is. is it? Yeah. Why yeah. is that? You don't have to eat because it raw. Because oh, our blood type it rejects it. You just you found out. <laughs> I, I am <laughs> blood group O as well, and I've eaten cabbage all, all my life. I've eaten cauliflower all my life. I eat granuts. Mm. I cabbage, eat everything. Cabbage, and how do you eat it? Don't tell oh, me, like just put it in your stew. mouth. No, 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 not raw. I, I prefer it, it in a stew form as well. Okay, form, yeah. okay. So you should stay away from these ones. But when you, when you think of, when you're in uh, the category of O, the simple thing that should come to your mind, exactly what shall I look out for when I'm shopping? So since you can eat everything, but then the most of it compared to the other blood groups, you eat more of meat, like salmon, okay. Okay. fish, like salmon, meat. Okay. Do, you can do turkey, you can do beef. Okay. Well, uh, my favorite person is Akurigo, is a kebab <laughs> seller. Yeah? And you can also do fruits and vegetables as well. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Then we move to the next uh, group. Okay, so let's go to blood group A. Mm -hmm. They are the vegetarians. So okay. L let's come back to the O. Mm -hmm. Are there any uh, risk factors for them? What kind of illness do they easily get? If there's any, if there's none, we can move to the A. Okay, so um, we talked about the basis for proposing um, the blood group diet mm -hmm. um, to prevent some chronic diseases, mm -hmm. um, to prevent um, increase in body weight in relation to one's height, that's BMI, waist circumference, which is a risk factor for... Oh, it's a waist um, circumference, how do you mean? So you the take the of circumference your of your waist, waist at the navel level. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, we have that and then also... Um, Insulin. Insulin is supposed to take up glucose from your blood. Mm. So if it's not working properly, it means you have sugar accumulating in your blood and okay. that's, that could lead to diabetes. Okay. And if you have a higher waist circumference, you're likely to have high blood sugar. In other words, if your waist is bigger. Mm -hmm. okay. your, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. right. that's, that's been proven by research. Okay, so we go to A then. So let me add this. So that's what we call lecithin. The what? It's lecithin. So you can think about it like gum. <laughs> So um, it's found in some foods, like eggs, like nuts, some legumes, um, some tomatoes, um, different kinds of foods. And it's believed that these lecithins um, can uh, cause the bl red blood cells to clump together, mm -hmm. and that can clog the blood vessels. Wow. Uh -huh. So that's also part of the reasons why, based on blood group, it has been recommended that some people stay away from so some food. foods. Uh -huh. wow. So it may not be compatible with um, certain blood group types. Mm. But this has not been proven by research. Th we call it agglutination. Lecithin um, leading to agglutination uh, in relation to ABO blood group is not research proven. Okay. Uh -huh, but these, these are proposals and people claim it's working for them. Okay. So <laughs> it won't hurt. So if if it works it. for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. What what's, um, is not being done properly is that once you are on a blood type diet, there are certain supplements you need to take. In fact, a minimum of four different types of supplements to seven. In a depending day. on your blood group. Yes, wow. once you are doing the blood type diet because you're going to be deficient. In oh, certain nu nutrients, certain yes. okay. uh -huh. but okay. most people just do the dietary parts without um, taking the nutrient supplements. Okay. After we take a walk through all the types of um, things we should be eating, depending on your blood type, we get to know how you should even go about it. Should you go to the hospital, take a sample of your blood, test it before you know what to eat? That's too cumbersome. I think everyone should know their blood group. You don't know what happens. Well, <laughs> after that, you have to now go and check to know what you can eat and all. Okay, let's go to A. <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. not that tiring, don't mind me. Let's go to A. Yeah, yeah so they are the vegetarians. Oh. So they eat mostly vegetables. They can have lettuce, they can have carrots. Um, however, they can have tomatoes, they can have um, pepper, and also they can have wheat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, they also need to avoid oranges and some melons. Okay. And can we move to the next yes, blood type? Go. So we can go to B, B. right? Yeah. They, they have fewer restrictions on animal products intake, and they can take um, dairy products. Di they can take like it, or cheese, they cannot. They can. They can. Like cheese, milk. Okay. Um, however, they have to avoid chicken. Mm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> they have to avoid corn, only... lentils, sesame seeds. Hey. Mm hmm. Comment your morale. Instead, you know, you know, you need. You know, you have half, half, and. It, it, 
it, it needs to be based on professional recommendations. Okay. You don't just get up and say, I'm blood group, or I'm going to do it. How are you going to do it? Why are you doing it? Do you really need it? Because like I said, I'm blood group O and I've eaten anything in my life. <laughs> I realize that there are things that based on my blood group, I'm probably not supposed to be taken, but I've eaten them. And I believe that I'm cool. You're cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah I'm sure. fine. So um, if you have to do it, you need professional guide. And you need to be mindful of the supplements that you need to you add to. Supplements with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last one will be the A, A B. Will be the A B. Okay. So the A B are in between. They can have fish. They can have eggs. They can have um, some fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. However, they also have to avoid butter chicken. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Eh. Mm hmm. Okay, it's a bit. Feels like it's about to rain in my mind. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Okay. So, so A B. Oh, they oh. have to avoid what? Um, they have to avoid butter, butter, okay. chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like I said, the foods they are to avoid are uh, uh, to help with weight loss or to avoid weight gain, mm. and also to prevent agglutination. Sorry. Okay. So, I want to ask a very common question. There are some people who just cannot eat vegetable. If you eat, it feels like you want to throw up. Feels like even if it's in your food, you want to take your time to separate it. Is it because of your blood group, or is it psychological, or you, your system is just rejecting it? I'm I asking for say somebody. That. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that. Let's try variety and see which ones we are comfortable with. Most of the time, we try one, and we say that oh, I don't like vegetables, or it's difficult for me to have it, or even the way it's presented. Mm. That's also a factor. So um, everyone can have anything. I didn't like fruits until. I went to the university and I met one professor and he actually helped me uh, um, to learn how to eat fruits and I have been having fruits. So it all depends on adapting to the healthy lifestyle and also making up your mind because once you know the health benefits, um, you commit to it. Okay, so I mean, you've mentioned the health benefits of you eating right, depending on your blood type helps you. You know, you were mentioning circumferences, cardiovascular diseases <laughs> and all of that. But apart from going to the hospital to take a blood sample and all of that, how do you know what to eat? You definitely have to get to see a nutritionist like you. Mm -hmm. So basically, we recommend a well-balanced diet. And I always say that nutrition is specific to individuals. Mm -hmm. I believe that even among, for example, blood group B, mm -hmm. even though there are proposed um, food intakes for for this blood group, it may be different for each of us. How? We may not react the same to the same foods. It's the same as managing someone for, let's say, diabetes. Okay. Okay. It's not, th there's a general way of managing mm -hmm. diabetes, but then depending on the individual, they may have different ways, they may have different histories, medical histories, mm -hmm. they may have other comorbidities. Mm -hmm. um, and so you don't do it the same way. And that's why we should know our bodies and also know what is good for us. Keeping a well-balanced diet, make sure that you are eating from the various food groups mm. um, at each point when you have a meal in front of you. Make, make sure you have healthy snacks in between your meals. Make sure you are well hydrated. Healthy snacks in between your meals. So yeah. like fruits, okay, orange, watermelon, but I'm banana. But oh, I'm supposed to, I'm so not if, supposed if, to be taking mm -hmm. orange. So if you believe that you are O oh, and you're not supposed to take orange, you can take mangoes because AB doesn't take mangoes. For example, <laughs> okay. yeah. So you need to know what works for you and okay. what doesn't, and then. So what's that one it. common food you'd find a person with O and a person with A, a person with B and A B eating that one common food? Um, that would be fruits and vegetables, but the type of fruits and vegetables may vary. So, for example, A B, um, it's advised that A B doesn't take mangoes, mm. uh -huh, but then the other blood groups can take that. Mm. Um, o and A may not take oranges and some melons, but the other groups may, may take that. Without well, so now, problems. knowing that you have to supplement it because definitely you'll be lacking in some areas of ingredients in your meal, knowing this, should one be blood dieting, you know, blood type dieting all their life, or you have to do it at a specific time and give up and move on? Your blood group is forever. <laughs> it's a, a lifetime thing. So if you believe that you have to do the blood type diet, then you're doing it for your lifetime. Mm. You don't do it at one point and stop. And like I said, I said it goes with nutritional supplements. Uh -huh. So that's why you need to know what works for you as an individual and go by it. You need to eat a well-balanced diet. And if you have no problems, there's no need to worry. Well, what there's are no some of the nutritional uh, supplements? 
Oh, like vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin B12. Uh, the normal vitamin C we were drinking, you put in oh, water. Oh, yes, yes, drink. the normal vitamin C. So there are different vitamins, depending on the blood group. There are different vitamins. Hey, in all uh, of your, in all of your submissions, depending on your blood group. Yes, so, th so they don't take the same supplements because they don't avoid the same foods. They don't eat the same foods. Mm. So what um, this blood group may be lacking, the other may not be lacking. Mm. That's why the supplements vary. Okay, maybe <laughs> I can just open the phone line for you. Maybe that's a question you want me to ask that I haven't asked. Mm -hmm. You can call us on 0302 or 94. 0302 or 94. My producer might just be kind enough to want to put the number on your screen so that you call. And when you call, please lower the volume of your television set and do not listen to us via your television please do listen to us on your phone ask all the questions about blood group we're not talking about the one that can help you choose your your, your partner <laughs> you're talking about the one that will help you uh, keep a healthy weight stay fit and even you know increase your lifespan if if possible so call us on 0302 211 or 94 what what other questions are there? Because I'm quite confused about the blood. <laughs> what other questions are there that I haven't asked you? Something you want to add up for me? Okay, so um, people, it has worked for some people. It has. Okay, good. <laughs> Is it possible that I am? Oh, I go through all of these things you're talking about and won't work for me. I'll not even lose one inch. So if you want to lose weight, overweight is a result of consuming more than you expend. So basically, people on weight loss program, mm. um, we, we take a diet history. We look at what they are consuming, what times they are eating, mm. what they are snacking on, mm -hmm. the amount <laughs> of fluids they are taking in. Okay. And based on their diet, we recommend appropriate options for them to mm. enable them lose weight. Now, if they commit to this, it's going to work. So far, we have managed people for weight loss and we never went by their blood group. Okay. We, we didn't get to a place where we had to look out for their blood group. And so far, it has worked for people. Okay. Let's so. go to our hotline and talk to Enoch. Hi, Enoch. Hello. Hello, Enoch. Yes. Okay, great. Good morning. And kindly go on. Yeah, I'm doing good. And you? Fine, thank you. I'm watching your show, and I'd like to know my group is O positive. You're all positive? Yes. Okay. And you want to know what about all positive? Yes. I want to know my diet, food that I need to eat and those that I, 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 I need. Okay. We lost Enoch. We mentioned it earlier, but I'll be kind enough to go over it. So Enoch from half wants to know what he should be eating and what he shouldn't be eating. And first of all, is he ready to get supplements or he just wants to learn that, oh, I cannot eat cabbage, I cannot eat cauliflower, I cannot eat wheat, I cannot eat corn. <laughs> so he, he, we need to be mindful of that so that we don't do it halfway because we don't achieve benefits when we do things halfway. halfway. So for mm -hmm. blood group O, for example, I know you are also your things halfway. halfway. So for mm -hmm. blood group O, for example, I know you are also you are curious yeah, about yeah. what supplements yeah. you, you need to take. You need to take supplements like iodine. You need to take supplements like calcium, like vitamin K. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we need to be mindful of all that so that um, um, we, we are not found wanting. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Rudolph from Kumasi. Hello, Rudolph. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please go on. Um, please, I'm all positive. But then my problem is whenever I eat banana, um, I'll be eating myself. I don't know if the gas um, connotation. When you eat banana, what happens to you? Yeah, banana and plantain. Your skin itches. Okay, okay. Uh, and you're convinced that is the banana? I don't know if uh, it's because of my um, blood type or whatever, but whenever okay. I eat um, banana and pineapple also. Mm. Good question about the pineapple. Okay, great. So Do you have the same problem. My tongue. <laughs> pineapple. Okay. Well, I eat pineapple so so my so tongue. so we have reactions, different reactions to food. It may not necessarily be because of the blood group, but then it's probably because. Of, it may be a result of something else that the person might be reacting mm. to. So banana is not part of the food that needs to in be a very Okay, so in your, if you're in O positive category, you're okay to eat bananas. Yeah, you're okay to eat so bananas. So then it means that for your blood type, uh, Rudolph, you're safe. 
you can eat bananas, but something else is causing you yeah, to react. Yeah, and to so them. if if something is not good for you, just leave it. No, banana <laughs> so is nice though. It is, it but did. if it's not working for you, find something that is. It's got potassium in Only there. Cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Only cocoa. Only cocoa. Okay, why do people react to pineapples, especially on the thumb? Yeah, people also have other reactions as well. So mm -hmm. <laughs> there may be some elements in there that they are reacting to. So okay. if it doesn't work for you, you just substitute it for something else that will, will give you the same benefit. Okay, so let's take a pound <laughs> two through to uh, Kwando and go to a farm place or let's go by in Koko. And let's talk to Rosmon. Hi, Rosmon. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please go on. Please, I call from a farm place. Okay. Hello to all people watching from a farm place. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Please. We can hear Hello. you. Yes. Please, this one, I know my blood group and I've heard all the diets, but please, I want to become a nutritionist. You want to be a what? A nutritionist. A nutritionist? Yes. So uh, when I just saw her, I feel... You admire her. Ah, yeah. thank you. Okay, you want <laughs> to see how you can guide me, but I don't know how to get someone to lead me to get there. Okay. All right. So she wants to be a nutritionist. I did science in senior high school. I did biological science. I did nutrition. So um, she she needs. I don't know what level she is at this time. I've completed it. Do you have a science background? Do you have a science background? No, it was uh, general arts. Hey, general arts, you are better than you. Kaka. This one kaka, but you can, you, life kaka. is, you know, you've got to be determined. You can, <laughs> you can upgrade okay. it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and you can Thank read a lot as well. You may not have to practice it on people, but for yourself. Okay, it's fine. so she can get in touch through our social media handle. Yes. And then you want to give your social media handle. Okay, so she can um, look for us on IG or Facebook. It's Optimum Nutrition Care or Comfort oh. Legacy Foundation. We will we'll, 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 we'll respond to her messages. Okay. I'll see if I can pick a few more calls. 0302 or 94. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't get your name. Can you please tell me your name? My name is Na, calling from Kumasi. Hello, Na, from Kumasi. Please go on. Okay. My question is, the blood doesn't change and you have to be on it forever. I'm sorry, uh, now I know she's likely. Okay, yes, please come again. I said, say the blood group is constant. That means if you're following the diet, you have to be on it your lifetime. Mm. My question is, you know that since you will be lacking from the other food groups too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those supplements also have some side effects. For instance, you can't take all the the lifetime for instance, vitamin D, you have to take it for some months and then you break. So, what happens then? Okay, so I think the whole thing is confusing, but I like the way it's kind of approaching it. Okay, good question, tough one for me, really. I'm not sure I really got her question. Okay, so. If, if you're going to be blood type dieting, you definitely, like you said, will be lacking uh, in certain parts mm -hmm. of nutrition, I should say. And you recommend that you should be on um, supplements. supplements. Now, we like to think that there are side effects of too many drugs. Should you take the supplements forever or not? And so there are nutrients that are not stored in the body. They are just passed through the urine, like the vitamins. And so... Um, once you have decided to be on the blood type diet, it mm -hmm. means that you're going to have to take it as long as you are you're on, on the, the blood yeah, type. And you are sticking to a particular plan. Okay, let's go to a name and talk to Ladam. Hello, Ladam. Oh, no. Did I miss Ladam? No way. No way. Try and see if you can call back again. 0302-211-693 or 94. 0302-211-693. Nine or nine four, please. So let's talk about your foundation. What have you been up to? Well, um, Comfort Legacy Foundation is a non profit organization that supports malnourished children and malnourished, yes, especially children under five years. Okay, you should see them. You cry. How do you get what? How do you give birth to a malnourished child? Is it by not eating well? Good one. So people don't give birth to malnourished children. Okay. Unfortunately, mothers give birth and they fail to give the breast to the baby. Oh. So um, the babies get malnourished. So we had a child last week, four months, and very small. And the mother thinks it's witchcraft. 
when she has not put the baby to breast as much as she should. And most of these women, the men are not taking care of the families and they keep giving birth. They are not also doing family planning. So what we do is we usually do annual donations in a year. Mm. And then we do nutrition education, which is one of our goals. We do advocacy via media but um, to corporate groups, etc. You're not here putting today. them on family planning first. Ah, we need their consent. We can't do it. The nurses talk to them about that and they tell you, I'm going to talk to my husband. Meanwhile, the husband is not taking care of you. Sadly. Uh -huh. Sadly. So even those who have money are doing it. Oh, without, yeah. I'm not advocating for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, 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 it, it, it's really sad. Mm. So I developed a passion when I was working. I used to work with Nestle Ghana Limited. So okay. we used to... Um, um, uh, interact with healthcare professionals on appropriate feeding options for infants. So uh, it, it was a pity seeing such children. And so I decided to um, start a foundation that would support such children. And, and some of them have medical complications. And it wow. takes about 500 cities on the average to take care of a child within three months, especially wow. if they have complications, it may be more. So... Um, we are yet to make this year's donation on Thursday. Uh, coming Thursday. Yes, coming Thursday. I'm we are not going nice. to. Can I join? <laughs> you can join oh, us. Five we'll years. be happy to have you on board. Okay. So um, we are going to Asnomaso Hospital in Ashanti region. Okay. We are going to make um, donations of face masks, hand sanitizers, RUTF. It's a ready-to-use therapeutic food. That's what we give to malnourished children. Okay. Okay. We prepare milk we call F75, F100. We use um, milk. We use oil, sugar, and multivitamin. Oh. It's used to formulate a solution for them in our quest to manage. Oh, I need to get you to come and teach us how to prepare that milk live and tea. Really? Sometime. Yeah. <laughs> All so right. we can help people who really cannot afford, you know, to buy the type of milk they should be giving to their children. But they can make it at home, right? Yeah, but they have to be guided. They have to. Yeah, yeah I need they to need to we'll write it. We'll we'll when they have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, we, on we, Thursday. We, yeah, on Thursday. So we are calling on the public to support the foundation on organizations that have oil, sugar, multivitamin, pharmaceutical companies. They can help us with some of these electrolytes that are used um, so that um, we will help um, support the cause and also cash donations because it takes money to go into these places and also into communities. We are going to the Kassam community in the Kwabi East District. Okay. They have a lot of these cases there. So we take advantage and educate the mothers on appropriate feeding options for infants, on family planning. Mm. And I'll use this opportunity to thank um, Goodman Powering Progress. They are into lubricants, um, vehicle lubricants. Uh, they have supported us since we started financially. And also to Omo Washing Powder, okay. to um, Key Brilliant Soap, and also Anapuna. They oh. are supporting us, donates to mothers this time. Oh. And we are very grateful to them. What's your number? In. How can we help? Call so, to help? yeah, 050 And they can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Optimum Nutrition Care or Comfort Legacy Foundation. Ah. Yes. If they okay, want to so support. please, when you're done in the Ashanti <laughs> region, please come to the Volta region. We will. Got lots of will you go with us? Of course. I live there. That's where I come from. So we'll go together. Okay, okay, that's okay. good. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for final having words me in why you should be blood type <laughs> dieting. Final words. Yes, so um, good nutrition is key. I've always said that nutrition plays a key role in our general health and well being. So when you consume so much more than you need to have, you definitely are going to have some complications. So nutrition is specific to individuals. Let's see what works for us and let's abide by that. If you want to go by the blood type diets, you need to do it properly and you need to have guidance. So like I said, you don't just decide that, okay, I'm not supposed to have chicken because I'm blood group AB. And then you're not having chicken, but you're eating everything else and you're not having your supplements. You need to have it right. It mm -hmm. has to be complete. It has to be You should whole. listen to what somebody is saying in my ear. What somebody is say? saying, Fufoni, Abenko, and Pai, also blood type. My favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can feel it free. It's the only balance. Once the person is fit, we are good to go. We're good to go, right? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Helena. You're I've welcome. been talking thank to Helena. She's a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. She's a lecturer. She also owns a foundation. So do well to support her. Let me say a happy birthday to